Jalen Brown, it's not so much that he's underrated. It's that he's just not liked because of his, quote, I am better than you attitude. He knows it. It's the same reason he is not as marketable as he should be. That's what an NBA source just sent me. I don't know that to be the case. I like Jalen Brown. I know a lot of people that like Jalen Brown. All right, so those were the comments of our Stephen A. speaking on the unnamed source that called Jalen Brown unmarketable. Brown went on to win the NBA title and finals MVP yesterday. He sat down with S.A. on the Stephen A. Smith show and discussed his issues with sources. Listen up. I feel like since um, this all kind of happened on your platform, I mm -hmm. want to send the message to mm -hmm. you, to them. Right. Because you're only the person that knows who the source is. Mm -hmm. And I basically wanted to say to them that I think is cowardice. I think historically unnamed sources have attacked some of our greats. Mm -hmm. And I slash we are not responsible for what they lack in design. Um, frankly, they can call all their buddies, they, they, they pals mm -hmm. and, you know, friends from all over the world, all the unnamed sources, and, and they can shove it where they got it from. Mm -hmm. Um, whether they think they mar I'm marketable or not, I walk with God. Um, I'm going to be me and stand with my community mm -hmm. in this life and the next, and that's my journalistic integrity. All right. Uh, joining us now as well, uh, Brian Windhorst there, Shams Tarania. Shams, so nice to meet you. We haven't met in Molly person, but uh, welcome to the show. Welcome to the team. I think you were on, actually, when I was off, but you know what I mean. All right, Stephen A., let's dive in. Yeah. Obviously, much respect to Jalen Brown for sitting down with you as a man face-to-face. -face. What more can you say about what he had to say? Well, listen, I thought that he had um, – I, I got where he was coming from in terms of his points. Um, I certainly am, am proud that I had him on my show, on my platform, the Stephen A. Smith Show. And uh, he had an opportunity to express his thoughts. He's highly intelligent, incredibly accomplished, uh, just a brilliant brother all the way around and a decent person. And so – the point that I was trying to make to him, you have a lot of people that complain about sources, and I think, Shannon, it's appropriate on this particular day to have two guys sitting next to me. This man has been covering the NBA for us for years. Shams, we're proud to have you on as a part of the team. Guess what? Journalists don't reveal their sources. And in today's generation, people will Never. try to act like, people will try to act like, well, you know what, you're making it up, or you don't really have sources. Well, damn it, do you say that about people who cover the White House? Do you say that about people who cover government? Do you say that about people who cover Wall Street? Well, the same is applicable to sports. And I don't know anyone, anybody more qualified than two people sitting directly next to me to, 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 to really illustrate and emphasize that. You got sources all over the place, the both of you. I've never heard either one of you tell people, this is our source, all right? It doesn't work that way. And so there, were, there was somebody that texted me that day that said that about Jalen. But what they were saying is they weren't saying he was unlikable. They weren't saying he wasn't a great guy. They weren't saying that he wasn't made of championship metal. They were saying that Madison Avenue looks at him that way because of all that comes with him. And as a result, that might be getting in the way of all the things that he is after. And that was what I took a moment to explain to him. And I think that over the course of the conversation, he agreed that that's how he might be looked at. He knows it's unfair and wrong, but nevertheless, throughout our history, people who are educated, articulate, highly intelligent, very accomplished, and not easy to manipulate by any stretch, sometimes have a problem with Madison Avenue. I don't think that's breaking news. Yeah, and also, you know, here's the thing. He, he did have an Adidas deal when he came out. Number three pick coming out of Cal, he had an Adidas deal. That deal was not renewed. And then he had a long period where he did had no shoe deal at all. And yesterday, as part of this conversation, which I encourage everybody to listen, he attacked the shoe industry. He attacked Nike, attacked Adidas and the industry. It's because <laughs> he says that kind of stuff. He's proud of it. He shouldn't back down from it. But that's part of the reason why people feel that way. But also, you know what I love about this? When you're the champ, when you win at the highest level, when you go to the mountaintop, it's so hard to get there. And certainly it was for him. Yes. Talk your talk. That's right. When you are on top, He's earned it. you have the absolute right to say whatever you want, especially him. Like, if he wants to be upset that he doesn't, you know, what was said by that source, fine. If he wants to be upset that he wasn't on Team USA, fine. He should. He was Eastern Conference Finals MVP. He was MV, uh, NBA Finals MVP. This is the time that he should, 
he should be able to say these things. Go ahead, Shams. I, I feel like everyone around the league, they respect Jalen Brown. I believe he came to you, and he really wanted to sit down yeah. with you and spend time with you. And I think people do have a lot of respect for the way he approaches sure. just off the court, how he handles things. He's very communicative. Like, he's not going to duck anything. He's going to approach you, whether you're a teammate, whether you're a guy on the other side. Absolutely. And I think you have to give Jalen Brown this credit. He's really built himself into the star that he's become. You think about just two off-seasons ago. I did reporting on it at the time. It, the, the Celtics offered Jalen Brown, Derek White, and a first-round pick for Kevin Durant. That trade did not happen. Obviously, Brooklyn did not take that deal. So just think about the, tra the trajectory of this league. If that deal happened, where would the Celtics be in that situation? Obviously, with Jalen Brown's career, where, where would he be? And you're looking at Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown now, them staying together. An elite tandem. I mean, this duo will have a chance for the next three to five years as long as they remain committed to each other like they are. And they've, there have been times where they could have splintered, went the other way. But Jason Tatum stamped Jalen Brown at a time where it was, it, it was shaky at different points. And they kept Jalen Brown. And now I think this, this duo has a three- to five-year window where every year they're going to enter as favorites. By the way, Jalen Brown turns 24 years of age. I'm sorry, turns 28 this Thursday. The 24th. Okay. Go ahead, Shannon. Guys, some of the biggest stories in the history of America have been broken by sources. And a lot of times, journalists are willing to go to jail to stop, to not reveal their sources. And sometimes the court system will threaten them. And they say, well, you're just going to have to put me in jail. Because if you rely on sources to do your job, the once you give them up, you will no longer have a job. Nobody will ever, ever trust you again to tell you information. Now, the problem, I don't have a problem. I think Jalen Brown should be commended. But Stephen A., guys, uh, Wendy, Shams, you know this. When you take the approach that Jalen Brown has taken, that he's going to be outspoken about his community and things that he see, you have to understand. You get to control your actions. You don't get to control the consequences that comes of your actions. Hey, y'all can cover up that logo, but y'all going to be in them Reebok uniforms because they are the official outfitter of the 92 Olympics. Jalen, bro, you're not, you're not never. No person has ever been bigger than the sport itself. You're not about to be the first. Not Jordan, not LeBron, not Magic, not Bird, not, not Steph, not KD. Whatever the sport, pick a sport. No athlete's ever been bigger. Bro, I, I, I love what you do for your community. I love how you stand up and speak positive about our community. I love that you're trying to bring Imagine. financial literacy Imagine. to our community. But, bro, it's not the end of the world because people don't think you're – that Madison Avenue don't think yeah. you're marketable. It's not the end-all, be-all because but, you're still a hell of a ball player. But, Shannon, it doesn't make it right that he should be punished for that. And you know that more than anybody. Speaking we out all on know that. We, all, we, all, we all know agree. that, Molly. We all I, know that, Molly. Yes, Molly. I agree 1,000%. Well, I, I respect his decision, but Molly, again, you control your actions. You don't get to control the consequences that comes along with it. Yeah, absolutely. Let me chime in. Let me chime in real quick because sure. I asked I asked Jalen about that. You know, I mean, remember his idols, the people that you know. He talked about the late great Bill Russell. Russell who they just renamed Ali the bridge probably. out of Muhammad Ali as well, and what have you. Outspoken individuals who were who were dogged about uplifting our community and yeah. and paying rapt attention to it and putting forth extreme efforts and taking major major sacrifices in order for just for the betterment of our community. Those are folks that he idolizes yeah. and understand. Everything that comes along, Molly, you're absolutely right. Yeah. It's just going to involve sacrifice. And when I of asked course. him about that, he said, it's a sacrifice and it's a price that I'm willing to play, that I'm willing to pay. And I have nothing but profound respect for that man because he is not somebody yeah. that's delusional and foolish to the consequences that may come mm -hmm. down the pike. He seems willing to embrace it. And I, def I, I have no choice but to respect that. All of absolutely. us Absolutely. Yep. There's a cost. But, and Steve, sometimes it's Molly. bigger than sports. No, I understand 100% where you are, Shannon. Absolutely bigger than the brands and all of it. I'm just saying I respect it. I respect the man. I uh I think we also do also. But, Stephen A., remember, Ali lost three years of his prime for the stance that he took. When we think about the great uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, mm -hmm. Dr. King was never beloved in, alive as he has been in death. Mm -hmm. Muhammad Ali became a beloved figure all of a sudden when he couldn't speak as well as he once could. 
Yeah. That is Got factual. It. I'm not breaking any news to anybody. Go back and look it up. Dr. Totally King fact. was one of the most hated men in America. So was Muhammad Ali, one of the most hated men in America. As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, Dr. King was the most hated. Mm -hmm. He became beloved in death. Doc, doc, uh, uh, Muhammad Ali, people all of a sudden had empathy and sympathy for him when he lit the cauldron in Atlanta in 1996. I'm not breaking news to anybody. I commend Jalen Brown for the stance that he took. But you have to understand that a lot of times when you make these kind of sacrifices, you take these kind of stances, these are some of the blowback. These are some of the things that yeah. will come along with it. He shouldn't stop. I'm not saying he should stop and sacrifice his his integrity yeah. for a dollar. I'm just saying these are some of the things that come along with it.